got that bitch on me like right now. I promise I ain't with the hype now. Welcome to High Style Sundays. Y'all know what's going on. We here in Sound Tech Studios. We got DJ Focus. What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's good? Appreciate you coming through. Ain't no problem. All right, so for everybody, you know, doesn't really know who you are, tell them who you are and where you from. Well, I'm from Baltimore, born and raised. Uh, I DJ, uh, do recently doing concerts, step shows, uh, a couple clubs. Actually, at the Five Mile House, did that for a few years. Um, I'm just getting in where I fit in, for real. Um, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. I'm um, also starting to like rent out chairs, tables, 360 photo booths, all that shit. So, um, just trying to expand. Okay, okay. So, first of all, how old are you? Uh, 33. 33, okay. okay. So, you're from Baltimore. What part of Baltimore are you from? Uh, so, for about 10 years, I was right in a park ice area. Then I moved around, um, was it the Gwen Oak area? So, uh, not too far. So what was it like? You grew up there as a kid, right? Right. All right, so what was it like growing up in that area? Uh, shit, I stayed out the way. I always stayed out the way. I stayed busy. My mother kept me in sports, so I ain't really had time to do nothing else. Sports and books for real, so stayed on the street. And you went to uh, you went to college, right? Yeah, I went to Coppin, Coppin State University. Okay. Is that where you started DJing? No, I started actually DJing um, before I got there, uh, probably about a year or two before I got there. So that was just like a way for me to get to know people. Um, and I really started get, taking it serious when I started going there, though. That's when I got a lot more opportunities. What kind of like what kind of events were you DJing at first? You know, at first I was DJ. I was actually I'm still doing DJing weddings, mm -hmm. birthday parties. Uh, when I first started, I was getting where where I could get. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but now, like I, like I said earlier, I'm DJing concerts now, uh, step shows, uh, the campus parties, uh, corporate parties. Um, I DJ for Guinness not too long ago. So I was like expanding. So how does it feel knowing that you really just, because you didn't go to school for DJing, uh, did you? Right, right. I went to school for chemistry. <laughs> so how does right. it feel knowing that this is a, something you started as is like a hustle for real? Right. Now it's really, you, you really staying with, a, a, I would say, a continuing, you know, getting a, a gig at on every like now and then. So what's, what's crazy is uh, I always, I always love music, so. I knew even though I was going to school or going to college for what I was going for, that music was going to be where it was going, I was going to end up. I played the drums since I was five years old. So um, that just led me to DJing. And from there, I just never looked back. So what is your biggest inspiration? Like, uh, so when I was around five, six, my uncle was a DJ. Um, he gave that shit up now, though. So, um, But he just... Let me have all this shit, and then I took it, and I ran with it. Um, so yeah, that's that's how it happened. <laughs> you did like, is there like, could you pick out one night, like one event you DJ that will always stay with you? Uh, dang, that's a, that's a good one. It's probably the uh, the first wedding I did. Uh, because the price I charged it was like two hundred fifty dollars, mm -hmm. like they jumped on that shit real quick. And then the equipment I had it was like the uh, old school speakers, like six feet tall and shit, about eighty pounds. And um, I ended up dropping the, the speakers down the stairs, so I was only working with one speaker. But they rocked out the uh, the wedding party. Um, they referred me back for other events. And I just, that's how I work. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So do you feel like it's easy to get booked as a DJ? Uh, yeah, uh, now it is, because right now all, all people need is a laptop and a controller. Like, yeah. people will sing DJ, people DJing from phones. Right. Um, it's easy to get a gig, it's just the quality of the gig that you're going to get. Okay. So it's, it's always bars that's looking for DJs. It's always clubs that's looking to um, underhand other DJs. So it was like, it's easy to get it, it's like, it's hard to keep though. So, um, yeah, that's the, that's how it is in Baltimore anyway. So, 
Now I know you do multiple types of events, but do you like look for those re like residencies, like where you can like stay for a long time, or that's just not your thing? Uh, I, I had residencies, but uh, I found that it start to, that shit start to get stale. Um, people want to hear the same thing the same way, so it's like I rather get a corporate event and rock out for triple the money and get out of there. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't stuck down or tied down to that um, to that Saturday or Sunday um, where I have opportunities for other events, and uh, I rather stay away from the residencies at this point. And I want to get into the cop and homecoming. You know, you just you just DJ out. First of all, how'd you even get that event, and then how was it? Uh, I got it because I've been DJing there for the last six years. Right. So it was just a just a matter of time me doing a concert and the step shows. I, I did the step show uh, like when I first got there too. So um, they heard me DJ one event, and from that event they was like, "We need you for this one," and then that one and that one, and then it just led to where it is now. So it was just uh, pretty much as it was my network because my my homeboy that was going there he told me to come through DJ and then from there uh, they kept me there. <laughs> so is it like is that something like you hope to do more of like big concerts and stuff like that? Yeah, that's that was actually one of the goals to DJ a concert. So I was able to do that this year. That was uh, one of the goals I was able to do. Um, the next thing I want to do is DJ uh, actual like an NBA game, NFL game, something like that. So that's that's been a goal. Like I, I even got that joint on my website. I made that three, four years ago. That's that's always been a goal. DJing on the radio, that's another goal. So I just gotta figure it out. Gotta find a network. You feel what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So saying all that, what makes like, in your opinion, what makes a good DJ better from like a regular DJ? You know, what separates the two? Um, DJing how you want to DJ, I would say, being yourself, um, not trying to DJ like like you hear at the clubs or the radio, right. finding your finding your niche and rocking out like that, because the people gonna feel people's the people gonna feel how the people gonna feel how you feel when you DJ in the way you want to, if that makes sense. So that's why uh, I DJ the way I do. The people gonna find your your group your your niche is gonna find you. Pretty much. Do you feel like, cause you get a lot, of, a lot, of, you know, gigs and yeah, I'm, it's picking up. So, yeah. do you feel like what, what mistakes have you learned from that? You feel like other DJs may, you know, suffer from. Uh, trying to DJ like the next person that you hear, like even though it could be ten DJs from Baltimore, cause we got a lot of talented DJs, right? right. Everybody can have twenty, thirty different songs, twenty to thirty the same songs. But we all gonna play different. We gonna trigger some some type of way. So that's why I like about the DJs here in the city. Like everybody got their own their own set set skill for real. All right, and like probably like I want to say in the next five years, you where do you feel like the DJ scene is really going? You know. Uh, if we if we all the DJs work together. I feel like we probably can make multiple DJ schools to, to help the younger generation to get better. That's, that's, the whole, that's the whole thing about this, for real. I feel like uh, if you're willing to help the next person, there's no, no telling where we can go at. Like Co Coachella, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, the aim is never to stay in Baltimore and be the top Baltimore DJ. Well, not, at least not for me. I feel like we should always aim to be the best in the country or the best in the world, you feel what I'm saying? So that's that's why I see it. And like, what what advice you know would you give to a young DJ that probably you know is trying to do what you doing and get up there? What advice would you tell them? I would say uh, do your homework. Um, if you want to learn a, a skill, uh, find the DJ that you like the most and see if you can shadow him. Uh, see if you can uh, you know spend some time with him. Just chop it up. Uh, make sure your 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 music is organized. Uh, don't be afraid to take risk when it comes to DJing, cause it, you know failing is just just a part of it for real. Um, 
don't be so hungry that you, you undercut the next DJ. You know, know your worth. So that's a lot of things that I learned on, on the way. Um, and be yourself. Just, just do you. And I know you said you, uh, when you rent out uh, tables and event equipment. Right, like. right, right. So what else, you know, what else do you do, you know, besides, you know, the DJ, like, business-wise? Uh, let us know. That's what I do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so anything entertainment, I, I rent, rent it out speakers. Uh, speakers, what else? Chairs, tables, tents. 360 photo booths now, uh, uh, and yeah, that's it, right? Oh, up lighting, so I do all the lights and shit too. Uh, I think that's it. So, like, you know, somebody want to rent it out, how they go about, you know, renting it out? Uh, uh, contact me via Instagram or my website, uh, djfocus.com, uh, the spot with a Q, and um, it's an actual section where you can book anything you need. For the party or whatever you're using it for. All right, you have any you know upcoming events you want to let us know? Uh, I know they can always catch you on Twitch. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Twitch Monday through Friday, 4:30. Twitch.tv slash DJ Focus. Uh, other than that, it's a bunch of uh, private events and and weddings. Great coming, up. wedding season great coming up. So, uh, Melba's every first Monday. Um, and I'm probably doing a spring fling at Cobbin sometime within the next uh, within the next three weeks, and then I DJ all the basketball games at Cobbin too. Okay, okay. So, yeah. So that that next game is uh, Saturday, February. What was the day? Day the nineteenth. Yeah, today is the seventeenth. Seventeenth. So the, the next game is the nineteenth. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. Other than that, yeah, Cobbin got me locked in. I've been DJing out cop and basketball games for the last five, six years too, so. Right, 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 right. All right, y'all know what's going on. It's High Style Sundays. We got DJ Focus. You know where to catch him at. Yeah, yeah. DJ Focus everywhere. You know, one of the top DJs. Up Like a rock star, amazing. I'm high off the gas. Shoulda thought I was Asian. And I serve every risk that come to me. I don't got no 